I'm Bambi Francisco with this segment of What Drives You, and I'm speaking with Tom Gruber. He's the CTO and co-founder of Siri. Tom, thank you for joining me. My pleasure. So entrepreneurs need a lot of stamina, stamina a lot of passion, but everyone's different. Mm -hmm. What is it that drives you to start three companies and well, run another startup? Well, there's an excitement. You know, Steve Jobs, when he started Apple, he said, we're going to do something that's insanely great. And it, it doesn't mean anything, but it, it, it's just, that's the sense of it. That captures it. That is, we're going to do something that has never been done before, that will be used by millions of people, and, and that has a vision, has a crystallized vision to it. And it, it's Siri, um, our company culture is like that, where we have, we're trying to build an, a virtual personal assistant, mm -hmm. uh, one of the first ones ever, maybe the first mainstream consumer one. Mm -hmm. The whole team is extremely excited about this insanely hard and but interesting fun idea. Mm -hmm. and, what, and that little idea drives everyone's work. The engineers, the designers, everyone can say, well, what would an assistant do mm -hmm. in this case? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And, and, and that, that, that generative idea keeps everyone going. It also gives us guidance so we don't have to micromanage every step. Everyone just knows the big vision is personal assistant. Let's make it happen. So you have a big vision, but you also know it's insane. That's sort of the <laughs> insanity drives you because you're trying to yeah. do something different. And so talk about your company culture and what exactly is that? Do you have a mission statement? Do you have the you know, five bullet points of what that culture is? How would you describe Actually, it? Actually, we don't have any words like that on the wall in this company. Okay. Um, it's a very, uh, very tight. Everyone communicates with everyone all the time. Okay. Um, and uh, again, I think it comes down to there's a common shared belief that we're doing something that's exciting enough and that we'll be able to work real hard on it. Um, it's, it's not a... Um, uh, it's not a culture of um, let's get schedules in time. We, we have to do things on time. Right. But we're always doing more than we can do. Okay. Like every day, we're try trying to do more than really humanly possible. So essentially, the culture is let's get used to that insane overachievement. Okay. But in other words, because if you didn't get used to it, you'd be, you'd be a neurotic nutcase. You know, right. like it would be a mess, right? Yeah. People get comfortable with the stress of always reaching beyond what's probably possible. And sometimes we go, yay, look at that, we pull that one off. And this, sometimes we go, can't do that this week, let's take it out. Okay. And be happy with those choices, and that's the kind of culture we have. Okay, insane overachievement. Clearly that's the <laughs> type of culture that, that drives you. Mm. Thanks, Tom. I've been speaking with Tom Gruber. He is the CTO and co-founder of Siri. I'm Bambi Francisco.